Happy Tech Tuesday, I'm Lauren Asmus with UF Innovate Accelerate. The 3D printing industry has rapidly become more accessible to businesses and hobbyists alike. Today I'm joined by a founder who's breaking the mold on what quality standards look like. Thank you to Dan Barus, CEO and co-founder of Slice Engineering for joining us. Dan, tell us about your product. Thanks for having me, Lauren. Uh, so we make components for 3D printers, specifically the part of the 3D printer that prints uh, the plastic. So part that melts plastic, uh, it's called the hot end. Um, we build basically the tool head or hot end of a 3D printer that melts the plastic. And why do quality standards matter so much in an industry like yours? So with anything that, any industry that's maturing past sort of a hobbyist level uh, is gonna need a level of standards to make sure that if you're making a part uh, once, that you, it's the same once you make it the hundredth time or the thousandth time. Dan, can you give us some examples of how your customers use your product? Absolutely. So for example, helmets. Uh, you can go and buy a helmet online or at Walmart for riding your bike, but it's never gonna fit you perfectly. There may be some small adjustment ability to it, but it's not gonna really fit you. 3D printing can change that. Right now, one of our customers is using our technology to scan customers' heads and then print a helmet that specifically fits your head. Um, so then not, not only is it more comfortable, but it also provides better crash protection. Really exciting. And so you've been recognized throughout the industry and most recently as a Grow Florida company to watch. What's next for Slice? Next, we're really focused right now on increasing the throughput of our 3D printing processes. Where can people find out more about your products? Uh, SliceEngineering.com. I'm Lauren Asmus with UF Innovate Accelerate, another really amazing technology helping Gainesville look great. Thanks to our guest, Dan Barus, for joining us. Thanks, Lauren.